Hello, this is Adele and today's tutorial is for us to know more about the musculature of our knees so that we can better use them to support our knees in our daily activities be it walking or moving around so it will be mostly done supine okay, and prone so all you need is a mat and we can start off lying down with a towel roll like this okay so go ahead and lie down on your back slotting this towel roll at the back of your knees so what it prevents is it prevents us from overly pushing down the knees and floating the heels up so um, the first one is actually something called a quad setting to to really get us more acquainted with the front thigh muscles so you can lie down on your back well if you have someone to help you prop the the towel row that will be great otherwise just like what i did okay so the towel row below the knee you want to have your arms comfortably by the side of the body heel down thighs down okay take a little while first just to just to feel the the toes pointing straight up to the sky and then the feet is parallel and from there, you want to maintain a neutral curve in the spine. Start by just making up the quads. So your heels down, toes pointing up. Lean a little bit more weight to the big toe side of the foot. Then from there, drive the heel down, drive the thighs down. Relax. Once again, drive the heels down, drive the thighs down. Like you're putting a footprint on the wall in front. Relax. Okay. Drive the heels down, drive the thighs down, feeling the activation on the front thigh muscle. Relax. You might also be able to feel the lower leg muscles, the calf muscles. One more time. Drive the heel forward, the heels down, the thighs down, and hold it here. Feel the quad activate for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Relax. Just relax it a little bit. So now you have actually gotten a little bit more perception and awareness of your front thigh muscles as well as your lower leg muscles. One more mus musculature which is important in this whole picture is definitely the buttock muscle. So keep this same setup, okay, getting the leg straight, the weight of the foot to the big toe side, and then imagine yourself, okay, Squeeze a coin between the butt cheeks. Okay, so leg straight, heels down, heels drive forward, squeeze the thigh, and then imagine yourself pick up a coin between the butt cheeks. That should wake up your buttock muscle and relax. Okay, two more sets. Squeeze that coin between your butt cheeks. Do not squeeze your breath. Relax. One more time. Squeeze that coin between your butt cheeks. The legs are actively working and relax. Okay, so this is for body awareness okay, of all the muscles around the knees that can be helping it to support. So with that, okay, let's go ahead and roll to one side. Okay, just relax slightly before you come to lie prone on your belly. So this same towel roll can be just now can be now folded a little flatter to put below your forehead. So just, it's just preventing, uh, just providing a little bit more comfort. So just keeping the neck long, the forehead on the towel, the arms by the side. So this is activating the kinetic chain of um, the back body so that it helps to support the knees when we are walking or when we are moving around. So um, really helping us to activate the glutes, the buttocks, the back of the legs, the hamstrings, and the lower back in the same sequence as I mentioned. Which is a healthy sequence for the muscles to activate when we are using our, uh, when we are walking. So forehead on the mat, on the towel support. Legs are two straight lines, so it can be um, comfortable with, I would say shoulder width or hip width, both are good. Then from here, we just work with 
maybe you you identify one leg that you want to work more with, so you can work that that leg first. So I will work with my right leg first. I tap my right toes. I drive my right heel back so that the knees lift. I point my toes. Tap my toes and soften the knees down. I'm going to do a few reps of that. Tap the toes, drive the heels out so that the knees lift. Point the toes and float the thighs. Tap the toes down and soften the knees. Drive the heels so that the knees lift. Point the toes, float the thighs. Tap the toes down and drop the knees. Drive the heel. Point the toes, float the knees. Float the thighs rather. Tap the toes and drop the thigh down. Tap the toes, drive the heel back. Point the toes. Tap the toes and release the thigh muscles. One more rep. Drive the heel back. Point the toes and lift the thighs. Tap the toes and soften the thigh down. Relax. I go on to the left side. Tap the toes. Drive the heel so that the knee lift. Point the toes and float the thighs. Tuck the toes and soften the thigh down. Tuck the toes, drive the heel back. Point the toes, float the knee, float the thighs. Tuck back the toes and soften the thigh down. Tuck the toes, drive the heel back. Point the toes. Tuck them under and soften the thigh down. Drive the heel backwards, point the toes, float the thighs, tap the toes, and soften the knees down. Two more. Tap the toes, drive the heels back, float the toes, tap the toes under, and release the thighs. Last time. Drive the heel back, the knee will lift. Point the toes, the thighs are floating. Tuck the toes and drop the thighs. Then release. Then I want to work back on my right leg again. So I just do a few more reps for it. Tuck the right toes, drive back the heel. Point the toes and float the thighs. Tuck the toes and drop the thighs. Drive the heel backwards. Point the toes, float the thighs, tap the toes under, and soften the knees down. Last time, tap the toes, drive the heel through, point the toes, float the thighs, tap back the toes, drop the knees, knees. And just stay here for a little while, just breathing. So what we just did is just to activate the legs, uh, the back body in a sequence so that it, it, you know, once you establish a good patterning, then you don't have to think about it every time you take a step or every time you use your legs. So it, it becomes automatic. But for some of us who are a little bit disorganized in the back body, this will go a long way to helping create healthy patterns when we are using our legs. Which also, which therefore helps us to create better knee health. Okay, slide your hands beside you. Then you can press back onto your shins. You can slide open your knees a little bit if you like to, to sit back onto your heels. If this is too demanding for your knees, you can just come up. You can roll to one side and just come out of the exercise. Slowly come back up. And hopefully this is helpful for you. You can do this daily, especially if you feel that um, uh, you feel a little disoriented in your body as you take a walk or sometimes the weight is too heavy on the knees or too heavy on the ankles. Okay. Healthy patterning the body, healthy kinetic chains go a long way in, uh, in helping us to feel better in our body. So give this a shot. Thank you. Namaste.